All right, here's a quick review of the unit circle, which remember just means a circle with radius one. And again, um, we don't need to pick that in um, trig because everything would reduce down anyway, but one is a nice number to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in my axes. And again, whatever you think is easiest, I kind of think it's easy to start with 45s. So I'm just gonna put some little dash lines where my 45s are. All right, and I could write my angles first, so like zero degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, add, and get 135 degrees. And again, I'm just adding 45 all the way around. Uh, what is that, 270 and what, 315? And add 45 and it should be 360. Um, next, I might wanna do my radians on those. So do you see that e four equal segments of this top, kind of like an orange cut into four, and that's 180, which we know is pi, all right? And so if you take the whole, which in this case is this top part, which is the pi, the whole pi, divided by four, each of these is pi over four radians. So there's pi over four, two pi over four, I'm just gonna reduce it, three pi over four, four pi over four, and again, that better reduce to that, five pi over four, um, six pi over four, which again reduces to what? Three pi over two, so three pi over two. So six pi over four, this would be seven pi over four. And then we get back to eight pi over four, which reduces to two pi. All right, so there. All right, now, if I wanna go ahead and do the ordered pairs on my 45s, again, we discovered in class today that those will always be square root of two, square root of two. Now, some of them are but gonna be positive and some are negative. So we'll deal with that here in a little bit. And my last one. All right, and that goes back to the fact that it's 45, 45, 90. So the X and Y values are the same. And so again, this one's your cosine, this one your sine. So the only other thing I have to do is check sine. So here, first quadrant, positive, positive, that's great. Here it's negative positive, so this one should be negative. This one I'm going back and down, so in that quadrant they're both negative. Here I'm going to the right and down, so positive and negative. All right, so right now you would know the cosine and sine, cosine, sine, cosine, sine, cosine, sine for all of those 45s on the unit circle. While you're at it, we might as well do these points, right, because these are nice. So I might as well get those done too. So this is what, one on the X, zero on the Y. This is zero, one, negative one, zero. And this one down here is zero, negative one. Again, just be careful that the Y values are in the Y spots and the X values are in the X spots so you don't mess that up. All right, I'm gonna come back and do the 30 degrees in just a second.